Anxiety is like a bubble that surrounds you. When you're in that bubble of fear, your perception of things change and you feel your world is getting smaller. This bubble might make you feel disconnected from the world around you as you look out at it through the bubble. The bubble of anxiety distorts everyday scenarios. To dissolve the bubble, you first have to fully accept it and own it. Accept everything this bubble of anxiety causes you to think and feel. Acknowledge that it's all created out of fear and that for the present time, you're not going to fight it or try and hide from it. You can start right now by simply sitting for a moment with your anxiety. Gather together all the anxious sensations you feel and say to them, You're mine. I created you. We're in this together. When you fully own the experience, it settles better with you and you become less agitated by it. It's a bit like wearing a tight, uncomfortable coat. Once you stop struggling with the tension, you calm down. For the entire journey of healing your anxiety, always maintain that attitude of acceptance. Let it be the backbone of your healing. Give your anxiety permission to manifest in whatever way it wishes. Allow your anxiety to move freely, while at the same time you take full ownership and responsibility for it. For example, some describe anxiety like a blanket that smothers them. If you've ever felt like that, embrace the anxiety and pull it close to you. Wrap yourself up in that blanket. Sit with it around you. This type of unconditional acceptance feels uncomfortable at first, but with practice you'll quickly see how acceptance really makes a difference to your overall sense of control. You're waving a white flag and declaring a truce between you and your anxiety. Before you were tossing and turning with each and every sensation, but now you're sitting in complete and absolute acceptance of it all, allowing the sensations to do what they will. The tension was a result of trying to control the sensations, but now that you have a greater understanding, you no longer need to struggle with it. The driving force behind your recovery is your attitude of acceptance. By the way, an attitude of acceptance is not, I accept, I accept, so now please make it stop. Rather, it's, I accept what I'm feeling today. I'm not going to get upset or worried about it. I know all of this is a series of anxious sensations, and I'm not going to be drawn into a game of continuously fearing it. If the sensations stay, so be it. If they go, well, even better. I'm well aware that changing to an attitude of acceptance is easier said than done. If you've been suffering from general anxiety for a prolonged period of time, it may seem difficult to maintain an attitude of acceptance throughout the day, especially if the anxiety is quite intense. Stage 2 of the anxiety release method is designed to show you how to fully accept the anxiety and then release calm into your body and your mind. I call this released calm. Released calm is the feeling of peace and relaxation returning to your body and mind. It works because it creates a small window of opportunity for you to rest and build a buffer zone between you and the anxiety. It allows a calm space for nerves to recuperate. This release of calm happens in small stages as you carry out the different mental and physical exercises. It will give your nerves an opportunity to return to normal, ending the heightened, sensitized state they're in. What you will find is that with practice, your overall anxiety score will reduce. And with that too, so will the anxious thoughts and feelings of unreality and the anxious bodily sensations. Within a short period of time, you will return to feeling more at peace with yourself and find it easier to sleep at night.